yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. What is happening, everybody? We have made it to Bowling Green, Kentucky for LS Fest. Today is the setup day. You can see we made it with the Dale truck and Leroy up there. No problems, and both cars drove in a trailer under their own power. So we're super excited about that, but we didn't get a chance to tune either of them. They drove in here okay, but Leroy's got a new engine, the Dale truck has a new engine. These things need to be tuned, preferably on a dyno. So we're here actually at Holly's headquarters in Bowling Green. We're gonna do some tuning. Leroy is priority number one. We might just do some street tuning in the Dale truck. His tune should be pretty simple. Leroy needs to hop on the dyno, make maybe 1300 horsepower, make sure everything is good before we hit the track and really let her rip, tater chip. So we gotta get this thing out of here, both of these cars. We're gonna pull them inside and start working on them. They're pretty much ready to hop right on the dyno. We just have to put that new injector in Leroy. Ready? Yeah. So here's the dyno room guys. I'm gonna have to turn around, but you get the gist. This is their engineering shop. I guess we could call it engineering lab. Yes, laboratory. Engineering laboratory. This is so cool. Sounds right. Sounds like the bald eagles are ready to fly. You know what's going down when the lift is going on the dyna. Dang, Leroy. So a lot of you guys are asking about breaking in Leroy before we go on the dyno. As we've always done, we're just gonna run him on his brake in oil. You don't really have to break in a race engine. We're just going for it. We're gonna make some power today. That's what Texas Speed told us to do. So we're gonna get this thing running. Before we go to the track, we don't get very many runs when we get to LS Fest. Not much time to practice, so we gotta make sure he's good to go before we hit the strip. All right, ladies and gents, we're about to make the first pull with the new freaking LSX 427. I'm nervous, I'm excited. We're only doing it on wastegate pressure. We have 10 pound springs in the car, so it should make about 10 pounds of boost. And hopefully all goes well. Hopefully we have oil pressure and fuel pressure the whole way. And nothing goes flying out of places it shouldn't. But uh, we're gonna let it rip right now. We think we have a little axle issue, but we're gonna do a pull and make sure everything's all right. So, you ready to see some bald eagles? Oh yeah, this thing's gonna be ripping in here. You ready to see some bald eagles? Born ready. Oh man. All right, let's do it. horsepower 811 torque felt smooth anything come flying out out there no 
nothing heavy. The engine makes some power. Makes some power. How's the axle look? Yeah, a couple ceiling tiles. Oh. Did, it, did it stay? Oh. Oh, so we almost got one down. Oh, we're close. Apparently they had some ProMod in here, 3,000 horsepower. It took, it got them to that level. We're hoping to knock one down ourselves. I know another ProMod is in yeah. here. <laughs> Dude, first pull, freaking got her done. Yep. Hell yeah. Sounds good. Hell yeah, guys, look at that. 866, hell yeah, brother. You can see it was kind of flattening out. Needs more yeah. boost. It's like, give me more boost. So we're going out for round two right here now. All right, guys, that was a max boost of 9.9 .9 pounds, and we made almost 900 horsepower. I'd say she's a ripper. All right, folks, shooting for 15 pounds of boost. I really don't know what it'll make. It's a different cam. The boost controller is acting a little bit different, so we'll see. Our pickup for our freaking torque fell off right at the beginning of the pull. We probably would have made around 1,100 foot-pounds of torque as well, but you can see it was rising and then it cut off and you got our squiggly line here. So hopefully we get a clean reading next time. We'll see. This freaking always happens with Libra. I don't know if it's the plug wires we use or what, but we never get good readings for the tax signal. It just all every time. All right guys, so 1118 horsepower on a max of 17.4 pounds of boost. This motor is ripping. 17 pounds of boost making 1100. That is insane. This thing is gonna make crazy power. I think we're gonna go for mid 20s on this next pull. This is a lot of power though. Like damn, this is so much power guys. We're going up. Oh, Holly said to put 30 pounds in it. Holly, what are you doing? You gotta get up here and tone for me, buddy. Last pull for Leroy. We're gonna let her rip. Just for proof, we're in the boost settings. Max was 23 pounds. And the RPM was so smooth. The fuel pressure is perfect. Duty cycle was 70%. Hell yeah, guys. This is great. We are 
making power here at Holly. All right, we gotta get Leroy off the dyno, start working on the Dale truck, that thing runs like crap. We got the Holly guys to help us with the Dale truck, so really good stuff from Leroy though. That's, uh, that's a really good feeling for how far apart we had this car a couple days ago to now on the dyno making more power than ever. Feels really good, guys, so I'm pumped, hell yeah. Guys, it started pouring. Apparently we brought the rain with us from Florida, but we got Leroy back in the trailer. We got the Dale truck in. It is running so much better. Both cars are good to go, ready for LS Fest. So we're heading to the venue right now, which is the track. It's called Beach Bend Raceway, I believe. But we'll see you guys at the race tomorrow. We can't freaking wait. It's gonna be a great weekend. There will definitely be some rain, but we will fight through it and race while we can. For now, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Do for Dale. We'll see you later. Fall Diggles, Cooper. Fall Diggles and Freedom. Yes. This is the home of Corvettes. Home of Corvettes!